Hey everybody, Val Quickman here, and I actually wanted to show you what I learned on Pinterest today because it's pretty awesome and it's really going to help your business. So let me start sharing my screen and I'll show you uh, what I learned and show you how to set it up. It's actually called a rich pin. And what it does is it when you share your blog post or something else from your website, it actually uh, enters in information for you, but you have to set it up first. Super easy to set up even for the technically challenged and it actually pulls the tags you use in your post and uses them to uh, place it places on Pinterest. You can get more reach that way. It's actually really, it's a really good idea and I just figured out how to do it and set it up in like literally like three minutes. So what I'm going to do is share my screen and show you how I set up the rich pins. Now I, let me tell you guys, you have to have a business, um, a Pinterest for business account. So if you don't have one, I suggest, um, switching over. So. so here's my Pinterest account. And what you're going to do is you're going to click over here and go to help once you get your account up on, uh, set up on, this, on your internet. Now this help center is going to pull up and it's Pinterest for business, remember. I'm not sure if you can do it on regular account because I have a Pinterest for business account. So um, if you don't have one, you might want to try it and see if you don't have to switch over. But um, once we're here, we're going to scroll down and go to Pinterest for business. Give it a second to pull up here. There we go. Now if you if you don't join uh, if you're not already on Pinterest for business, you can simply just join there. But you're going to go up to the tools, and this drop down's going to show up, and you're going to go to rich pins. Now there's obviously other things you can do here. You can look at at it later, but this is I'm just showing you the rich pins for now. Rich pins. Um, they provide more context about an, an idea because they show extra information directly on a pin. And there are four types of rich pins that you can create. An app, a product, a recipe, and an article. The recipes are cool. They are a lot of extra work. Um, but if you want to be sharing your recipes on Pinterest and have them show up uh, branded to your website, it's totally awesome. So uh, maybe you want to do that for like a freemium you made for your recipes. It's a great idea. But um, I'm specifically talking about blog post. So blog post is going to be the article. And you click the average pins to your account. And then it's going to show you how to set it up, um, getting started. The rich pins show metadata right on the pin itself, giving pinners a rich, richer experience and increasing engagement information and a rich pin is independent of the pin description, ensuring that important information is always tied to the pin. And obviously there are six types. And they display metadata from marked up pages on your website. Once you've applied rich pins, any content on your site with metadata will turn into a rich pin when a user saves it. So once you do it once, and this is the best part of it, once you start doing it once, any other data that you, any other thing you pin from your site in the future that's an article is automatically gonna have all that data added to it automatically so only needs to be set up once and then from then on it'll keep doing it for you which is awesome so here's how, here's how you set it up um article movie place product recipe if you have products you want to do you can do that too and if they go on sale they actually will show a sale and a price on it i, I don't really like that way of um, promoting my brand and pinterest but if you do go right up go right ahead but um just for this particular one we're going to do article They let users know that they're clicking on a page with original content that tells a story. So basically what you're going to see here is whatever your pin is, and then it's going to show um, what site it's from. And then basically it's going to show it just like CNN did here, but it's going to have a read it button on it. If you've ever seen um, pins like that, and it's got more information down here, which is way better um, for a pin. It's going to pop more. Uh, we, on our particular website, the way I set it up, it actually gives you a whole um, form. We do not use open graph that I'm aware of. If we do, then 
maybe Chris can step in and tell us, but what I did and that worked for me was, uh, actually we did do this. I'm sorry. We did, we do do the open graph. So what you're going to do is, um, really simple is copy and paste this example into your head tag and then, um, change the contact con change the content that's in here to apply to whatever pin you're going to do. So you're just going to copy all this head to head, control C, and make sure you have another tab up with your website. So you're going to go back to your website. I set one up already, so I'm going to show you what mine looked like. And I did it um, for my fitness for women three, what workout is right for me blog post. Now, I don't know if you noticed when you're um, doing your blog post, if you scroll down uh, through it, come on. You have your uh, custom blog sidebar and then the footer SEO options, which I've never used, but you got this retargeting um, section and the header code. So you're just gonna paste what you copy directly into the header code, and then we're gonna um, go back and fix it. So this part up here where it says, and it gives you everything down here. Um, your, that first line, that OG type line right here, this one, instead of the article, you can change it to blog. So like I did here, blog. So I just, all I did was change the word blog on that. And then the next line, right here is gonna be the title of your article. So I just copied straight from up here, up at the top of your post. I, cop I straight, copied straight here, control C, copied, and then scroll down and just pasted it right in. And then this next meta property is the description. So basically you, you can put like, what you what the pin is going to be about or the article like this is an article about the types of workouts you can do at home because that's what my article is about um so basically just type in between the uh parentheses what you want to put in your pin and then the fourth line here is is content that is your blog's url which you can copy straight from the top so I would just copy this because you know you know what your URL is already, so you can copy the uh, end of it, and then scroll back down. And I put my URL here for that. Boom! In between the parentheses, HTTP valquipman.com fitness for women three because that's the URL for my this blog post, and then the site name is going to be whatever you want to put in here for whatever your site name is, you, you put your, even your business name. I just put valquickman.com because I want people to know where the pin came from. Um, and then this, so whatever you want to put in here, it's up to you. That's that line. And then this line right here, article publish time. This is like a weird um, number, but it depends on, um, you can actually look it up. It's called iOS, I think 80, 8601. Um, they actually give you, uh, if you go back to the Pinterest site, I, ISO, sorry, 8601 date format, and then it shows you how to do it. It's basically based on your, um, it's an, a universal system for, for time, and it's based on uh, your time zone. So you can go back, um, this, there's actually something you can click on right here that'll show you what it is. I found out that mine was minus 500, so, but whatever date and time you published it on, which you can look here. I did mine in April 10th, 2017. It's 0649 hours. So I copied that. And then I, it goes year dash month dash day. And then this T blah, blah, blah. And 0649 is the time. And then I found out my time zone was this. So minus 500. But you can always do minus 00 slash 00 and see if it works. I'm not sure if it does. I just put the time in. And then this last line here is article author, which you put your name in between the parentheses. 
and make sure your, your head looks like this where you open it. And then this backslash is closing, closing it for coding purposes. Um, after you have all this set up in here, save it. Well, I already pu published this, so I'm going to just update it. And once it updates, there we go. You're going to go back to Pinterest, your other tab here. And um, you're going to go on the same page to this validator. There you go. Rich pins validator. Now, once you do this one time, it's going to automatically work for the rest of the ones you ever pin you pin up there in the future any other blog post you're not gonna you're only gonna have to do this once you're not gonna have to do it for every pin which is awesome so um you're gonna what you're gonna do is whatever page or whatever blog post you use you're gonna type in the uh the url which mine was www.dalquickman.com, Fitness for Women 3, whatever your URL was, paste it right in here. You can get it back from your, pay, your page if you don't remember if it was a longer um, ending on it. And then you just click validate. Congratulations, your rich pins are approved on Pinterest. Now, this might not happen automatically. Um, it'll actually send you and it shows me everything that I have, my favicon and rich pins, blah, blah, blah. So um, it might take up to an hour, but it's actually very quick. I got my, my email, which said I was approved with, within an hour, well under an hour. So, um, And then you can go in, take a look at what your rich pins look like. So... Now it, it just updated all the ones I already had in there too, which is awesome because you don't have to go back and do it. It just uh, shows you. So this is what it looks like now it's, that it's updated. Um, it's got, I mean, it's truncated at some point, which truncated means it uses so many characters and then it puts the uh, three dots at the end of it. But uh, there's my title. Exactly how I had it. Um, article from valquickman.com. So you can go here, see the read it button, and then never wonder what type of workout would be best. In this episode, I will talk about the programs that you can do. And it shows you April 10th, 2017. And it does this for all of your, uh, your pins from now on. So, and somebody can just click read it and be taken straight to your, your pin to read more about it, which is awesome. I mean, you're going to do that anyways, but it allows people to see that it's actually an article instead of just a picture. So, and it actually, um, the tags that you put into your blog post, I have the tags in the side here. It actually uses those to, um, show up in like search, the search engines on Pinterest. So it's going to use these now, all of them, as opposed to also using like your first two lines of text in your description. It's also using your tags because it's taking them HTML straight from your website. So I think this is a better way to uh, show yourself on Pinterest and to get more people um, looking for your stuff. I haven't actually, um, since I just put this up, I, I don't know the results, like if I'm going to show up more, so, but it, it's uh, going to be interesting to uh, see what happens. So um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions, just uh, comment below and I'm sure Curtis and I can help you. Um, I don't know. I think this is a really good idea and it's, it's uh, good for branding yourself. So I hope you have a better day and uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>